Uh, this game will be very telling for uh, playoff purposes in the NFL and should be very interesting to see how it devolves. So I have the Ravens coming off a really tough loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers last week in a game where the offense was able to move the ball pretty decently against one of the better defenses in the league in the Pittsburgh Steelers. But uh, Lamar Jackson just continued to make mistake after mistake. And really that's what ended up losing the Ravens. The game in the end was the constant turnovers from Lamar Jackson. So will we see that similar play here or will they be able to turn the gas back up and light up the Colts who are arguably just as good of a defense, at least statistically versus the Steelers? I just don't believe in the Colts as much as I believe in the Steelers. So if you're asking me just uh, the hunts that I have based on observing all the games, watching as many plays as we can, just uh, seeing the way that that things are trending right now, I think the Ravens are going to run over the Colts this week. I think they're angry. Uh, The the Ravens are a team that historically plays really well after a loss. So uh, take that for what it it is. But I think the Ravens are going to have a really solid week this week. Uh, 47 point over under Ravens are only favored by two points. I feel like that is also very conservative. Um, I I would be taking the Ravens to cover that pretty easily here. Uh, The Ravens defense has been uh, surprisingly above average against running backs, receivers, and tight ends, but has allowed a lot of points to quarterbacks. Uh, So take that for, for what it means for whatever it means. Uh, But the Colts, as I mentioned, have been his statistically one of the better defenses at slowing down all elements of opposing offenses. It's been really rough for fantasy players against the Colts. We have seen a few games uh, where it didn't necessarily look that way. Obviously the uh, game against the um, Bengals, Bengals were able to move the ball pretty easily. I think the Ravens offense is strong enough that I'm not necessarily worried about the Colts defense. So that being said, I think Lamar Jackson goes right back into your starting lineup Uh, If you have him at this point, you're still going to keep riding him out because he does give you the opportunity to potentially have over 100 rushing yards, which you just can't compete with that in terms of uh, the way that we score fantasy points. Very hard to ever bench Lamar Jackson, even in a tougher matchup. He's still going to be a top five uh, ranked play this week. Uh, J.K. Dobbins looked far superior to Gus Edwards. Not that Gus Edwards has looked bad. J.K. Dobbins has just looked like the best running back of this rookie class and the Fingers crossed, hope is that they continue to use him more and more. I don't know why I added an S to uh, uh, Malcolm Brown, but uh, you should be playing Malcolm Brown every week. Uh, hopefully the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Uh, he's been you know, a bit disappointed with the targets that he's gotten. Some of them have been pretty inaccurate, to be fair, uh, but I think they end up uh, feeding him this week. I think he should have a pretty good game. And then Mark Andrews, you can't really ever bench him. He's been completely boom bust this year, but arguably he was that way last year and he still finished as one of the better tight ends. Uh, you'll take what you get because he gives you a, a plus 20 point ceiling and very few tight ends actually give you that. And I think you can play the Ravens defense here. I'm still not very convinced that the Colts have a great offense just yet. Um, I guess Edwards, he would be the guy I'd be a little more concerned about because he isn't involved much in the past game. So if the Colts run defense continues to stay as strong as it has been, I'd be more concerned about Gus Edwards having a bad day than J.K. Dobbins because Dobbins is more involved in the past game, gives you more of that floor and uh, you know potential ceiling if he gets like five, six receptions there. Whereas Edwards, not going to give you that. Uh, he will probably be the primary goal line guy. So if anyone's going to score a one or two yard rushing touchdown, it will be Edwards over Dobbins. But you're basically banking on that happening if you want to play Edwards. Other than that, I'd be playing Dobbins over Edwards every time. Uh, on the Colts side, I have a huge question mark here for Jonathan Taylor. I don't know what to do, guys. Like I, I have zero confidence in, in this situation right now. Jonathan Taylor was a far superior athlete in college. Everyone was super excited for him. He has the draft capital, came out after the game, even though he hadn't appeared on the injury report. Supposedly, he's had... Uh, an ankle injury that he's been dealing with, but maybe that's just coach speak at this point. It's really difficult to see what Taylor is doing. He's just not seeing the holes, even though they're being created for him. And it's really stifling his production. He hasn't had a breakout game yet up to this point. We even saw both Naeem Hines and Jordan Wilkins do well last week. This could be a game where you just have to avoid all of the Colts running backs. I put him in the start column because I still believe in him as a talent And as long as he's fully participating today, Friday, uh, 
haven't gotten that report just yet. If he's fully participating in practice, I'm going to throw him out there one more time, but I'm very nervous about this. This could be a Heinz week as well. So based on uh, who you're looking at as your starters, I think Heinz uh, is someone that you want to play in games where the Colts are projected to be behind. And I think that definitely fits the bill here. So if you needed to, I could start Heinz. I would just be nervous. I don't think Taylor and Wilkins will ever both have a good game at the same time. So if we project to start Taylor above Wilkins, we'll probably not recommend starting Wilkins. Trey Burton, I think, is a okay every week starter. Not the greatest matchup, but the, the Ravens can be beaten uh, through the tight ends a little bit easier than their receivers. Probably still starting the Colts defense at this point, because even though Lamar Jackson can torch you, he can also throw a ton of pick sixes, as we've seen uh, in the recent past. So I think Colts defense is still a decent play here. Uh, wouldn't be starting any of the receivers, even with T.Y. Hilton likely out this week. It's just been a, a mess between them, and this is a really tough defense. Uh, if you had to start one, I guess I would go with uh, Marcus Johnson because he has more upside than Zach Pascal, but watch uh, Michael Pittman end up having the blow-up week here. So it's a rough time for the Colts offense. There's really no clarity across the board for fantasy. Uh, I had the Ravens winning this one 28 to 21. I could see this being an even wider margin of victory, but I think the Ravens will win this one pretty easily. Mm-hmm.